The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says Yahweh to his anointed one, to Cyrus, whom he says, I have grasped by his right hand, to make the nations bow before him, and to disarm kings, to open gateways before him, so that their gates be closed no more. It is for the sake of my servant Jacob and of Israel, my chosen one, that I have called you by your name, have given you a title, though you do not know me. I am Yahweh, and there is no other. There is no other God except me. Though you do not know me, I have armed you so that it may be known from east to west that there is no one except me. I am Yahweh, and there is no other. And our response is from Psalm 96. Sing a new song to Yahweh. Sing to Yahweh all the earth. Declare His glory among the nations, His marvels to every people. Great is Yahweh, worthy of all praise, more awesome than any of the gods. All the gods of the nations are idols. It was Yahweh who made the heavens. Give to Yahweh families of nations. Give to Yahweh glory and power. Give to Yahweh the glory due His name. Bring an offering and enter His courts. Adore Yahweh in the splendor of His holiness. Tremble before Him all the earth. Say among the nations, Yahweh is king. The world is set firm. It cannot be moved. He will judge the nations with justice. And our second reading is from the first letter of the Apostle Paul to the Thessalonians. Paul, Silvanus, and Timothy, to the church in Thessalonica, which is in God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, grace to you and peace. We always thank God for you all, mentioning you in our prayers continually. We remember before our God and Father how active is the faith, how unsparing the love, how persevering the hope which you have from our Lord Jesus Christ. We know, brothers loved by God, that you've been chosen because our gospel came to you not only in words, but also in power and in the Holy Spirit and with great effect. And you observed the sort of life we lived when we were with you, which was for your sake. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Then the Pharisees went away to work out between them how to trap Jesus in what he said. And they sent their disciples to him, together with some Herodians, to say, Master, we know that you are an honest man and teach the way of God in all honesty, and that you are not afraid of anyone, because human rank means nothing to you. Give us your opinion then. Is it permissible to pay taxes to Caesar or not? But Jesus was aware of their malice and replied, You hypocrites! Why are you putting me to the test? Show me the money you pay the tax with. They handed him a denarius and he said, Whose portrait is this? Whose title? They replied, Caesar's. Then he said to them, Very well, pay Caesar what belongs to Caesar and God what belongs to God. The Gospel of the Lord.